mind your own business. <laughs> because today we are going to discuss about the mind. Chandrama Manaso Jataha. This is what the scriptures say. This is what the Shastra says. The moon represents the mind and just like we have discussed the same about the sun, Saturn and also Rahu till now. Here are 10 facts about the placement of moon. So wherever moon sits in your chart, these 10 things might happen. Now, repeated disclaimer. This placement of the moon has to be seen in the Bhava Chalit chart. If you do not know Bhava Chalit chart, please go to the search bar and type Exotic Astrology Bhava Chalit Chart B-H-A-V-A-C-H-A-L-I-T-C-H-A-R-T for the Western audience. Alright, so please search this. The Bhava Chalit Chart tells you where exactly a planet is placed housewise and the Lagna Chart which you know as D1 or Rashi Chart tells you only about the sign. Okay, so now you need to check the House placement in the Bhavachali chart and also the Rashi placement in the uh, D1 chart. Okay, so the zodiac has to be taken from the D1. Okay, Lagna chart, no confusion regarding that. Okay, now but whichever house moon is placed in uh, and then whichever sign moon is in, so you need to combine both the clues. As you know, the house represents the external facets of a person's life and the sign represents how the person is feeling internally about the things that are going on. All right. This is basics of astrology. But just in case you are confused how to see this, this is how you should see. All right. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And for our personalized consultations, my website is down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. I also have a video on moon remedies. Don't forget to check that out if you are concerned about your mood. All right. So now, wherever moon is placed, there will be, your mind is there. So wherever the mind is there, what happens? There are emotions, right? So now, when I am saying mind, I don't mean the intellectual side. Moon is purely emotions, okay? Pure emotions, like when, when, when nothing is there, when nobody is around you, what are you thinking, you know, what's going on in your mind, right? That That exactly is the moon, basically. So, Moon is that which nobody knows about you. <laughs> Except one person, of course. Who is that? Yes, Paramatma. God as the super soul, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam Riddeshi Arjuna Deshtati. Krishna says to Arjuna that, Oh Arjuna, I am situated in everybody's uh, heart, in the region of the heart, Acharya is explained, uh, as the four-handed Vishnu form, as the Paramatma, right? So therefore, accept Paramatma, and you, nobody knows what the moon is, right? <laughs> so there are emotions. So when there are emotions, what happens? There is feeling, right? So uh, there, there are feelings, there is an emotional state, there is a mental angle. So wherever moon is placed, you will always see that house through emotions. So for example, if moon is in your fifth house, um, you will take up to creative pursuits. But it will be because you can connect to it emotionally. You enjoy doing it, okay? Because of that, you are doing it. It is not because somebody has, you know, put you into some uh, tuition or, you know, so your parents have forced you to go and, uh, you know, sing or dance or play guitar or violin. It will not work. So wherever, parents, if your child has moved in a particular house, then you have to understand that he or she will only do that if the person enjoys doing it. Otherwise not. Because the person is seeing it through emotions. Okay. So strong moon will often indicate emotional stability. And uh, a weak moon will indicate, uh, yeah, you know, mood swings, anxiety, emotional uh, instability, emotional sensitivity and all this. Okay. And moon, as you know, is exalted in the sign of Taurus and debilitated in the sign of Scorpio. And whenever an affliction is mentioned, it has to be at least uh, via one or more than one natural malefic, uh, right? By a conjunction or aspect like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, Sun, Mars, okay? Number two, there is nurturing tendency because the moon represents the mother, okay? So... If moon is in a particular house, you will want to nurture people related to that house. You know? So, for example, if moon is in the second, you want to nurture your family, your family members, okay? 
And again, another disclaimer, I forgot many people write in the comments, you know, what about moon in this house, that house. See, this is not a house-wise video that will be made some other day, but this is trying to give you the understanding of what exactly moon does. So if you don't know what a house represents, please go to my Astrology Basics playlist and then you will know what that house represents, okay? So you will want to nurture that part of your life, okay? So this is very interesting and uh, the moon also represents the mother. This is the classic motherly energy. So you want to be like a mother, okay? You want to be supportive, so the moon is in the seventh, you want to be like a mother to your spouse and you want to care. And uh, yes, a good moon indicates you will be able to nurture properly. You might have a good relationship with your mother. And a bad moon unfortunately shows there could be you know, um, a rough path. There could be a rough patch sometimes with your mother and things are not the best, okay? And whenever you want to nurture that area of your life, you uh, you you somehow fail or... It happens that, you know, when you nurture, the other person does not reciprocate and the other person kind of blames you. Okay, so this is difficult, but that's the reality. Number three, wherever moon is placed, you will search mental peace there. Okay, so moon, as I said, when everything ceases to exist, what what is remaining? That is the moon. So you are looking for mental uh, peace there. Okay, so... Whenever you are done with your day and you are coming and sitting at your home tired in the bed about to sleep, what is going on in your mind? What makes you peaceful or what what takes away your peace? That can be seen. Okay, so mental peace has to be seen. So if your moon is well placed, then you can feel very good about those areas of your life and you may remember them at the end uh, of your day or in the first thing in the or as the first thing in the morning okay <clears throat> so if moon is strong the native will generally have a calm and balanced mind okay the person will not have too many fluctuations okay a weak or afflicted moon can create mental unrest so so uh, yeah the, there could be a feeling of dissatisfaction also because you are not having mental peace okay so this is uh, this is very much essential okay now, number four, the moon governs your public image and your popularity. This is very, very, very important, okay? So, if moon is well placed, you will be popular in general for no reason. This is not Venus that you are beautiful or you are attractive, charming. Or this is not Mars that, you know, you are very masculine and that attracts the opposite sex. No, it, it is not like that. It is the moon. The moon is flowing. It's by default flowing it's plutonic love so people will love you for no reason a person who has a very strong moon will be loved by people irrespective of how that person is and this is very shocking even if the person is a criminal somehow you will still have some fascination for that person or some admiration yeah this is what the moon does okay because sun and moon represent king and queen okay so this is a very royal energy and you know royals are always Loved, revered, respected, may not be loved by everybody, <laughs> but in general, right? So, you will have a great uh, capacity to uh, gain, uh, attract people's attention, okay? Gain public favor, build rap uh, rapport with others. So, yeah, I mean, you can be a very famous person with a good mood. Now, this does not mean you will be a millionaire or a prime minister or a or a very influential personality, not necessarily, or in today's day and age, it does not mean you will have million subscribers, okay, in YouTube or Instagram followers, but it certainly means you will be very popular, people will like to come and interact with you, you know, share their stories with you and also learn from you what do you have to say about their problems in life, okay. Number five, wherever moon is placed, there will be instincts and very strong intuition. So, if moon is in a particular house, so for example, if moon is in the 10th house, you will know that, yes, now the time is not good, I may be fired. <laughs> you will know it. If moon is in your, the earth houses, you know, like 2nd, 6th, 10th, you will know because your intuition is so strong. It's like, you know, a mother knows. Like, a mother can exactly tell what the child wants now okay 
in the child wants water or breast milk or you know food or whatever the the the, the mother can the mother get pretty very easily much more millions of times more than any astrologer right <laughs> because she is very intuitive in that area so so there is no compromise i mean she can do it effortlessly right so similarly you will also have a very strong intuition if moon is in the 7th you will have some intuition maybe there's some issue with your spouse your spouse is not happy or your marriage will break or even you may get some intuition oh i have met this new person maybe i'll get married to this person okay so these are things which you can know your gut is gut feeling is very strong okay then number 6 uh, the moon controls your uh, immune system okay so the moon is very important because through the moon we calculate the longevity you know through the moon we calculate vimshotri dasha everything uh, anything and everything is through the moon basically so therefore wherever moon is placed if moon is well placed in a particular house your your immunity related to that house may be very strong okay so for example if uh, moon is in your uh, fifth house and moon is very well placed then you know your heart because fifth house is literally the heart right physically physical heart that will be very strong but if moon is in the fifth and it is afflicted or badly placed then your heart can be uh, in a precarious situation and any time something happens it wrecks havoc okay so therefore wherever moon is placed you should take care of that house and that organ which that house represents okay so this is very 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 important otherwise you you will uh, you will lose out on your health and on immunity in general okay very 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 important now number 7 wherever moon sits moon as you know transits you know two two and a half days uh, in every zodiac sign you know so wherever moon is placed there could be fluctuations in your life this is very important. Now, what kind of fluctuations? You know, it could be any, any, any kind of fluctuations. Right? For example, if Moon is in the seventh, you know, marriage could be good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. There could be a situation like that. Okay, or you are getting in and out of marriage. You are getting married, divorce, married, divorce, married, divorce. This can happen. Okay, so it de depends where Moon is and how Moon is. Now, if Moon is well placed, so suppose Moon is in the seventh and well placed, then you will be able to maneuver through those uh, ups and downs in a good way which means suppose you are capricorn ascendant and moon is in cancer in the seventh and you have moon in cancer in the seventh so then suppose due to some reason your marriage is not working and you are going forward with the divorce then you will be able to understand okay maybe we are not compatible we, should, we, we are not meant to stay and it was not right from the first day or maybe now we have drifted and it doesn't work. So a good moon will not stop fluctuations, but it will give you uh, that insight, which will help you to make peace with the um, peace with it. Okay, it's like making the best use of a bad bargain. But suppose moon is in the seventh, but badly placed. So then, then the problem is uh, you will have ups and downs, and you will be bewildered. Oh, why this happened? Why that happened? You will be confused. You you will be angry frustrated miserable unhappy right you will have you'll have grudges you know have you seen those people who are always bitching about their ex so yeah that that's how it is so if moon is well placed you will make peace with it even if there are problems okay if moon is bad uh, it's very difficult okay number eight wherever moon is there is extreme creativity and imagination so if moon is in the fourth you know, or with the fourth lord you know, or aspecting the fourth house from the tenth, you can do excellent as a you know, like interior designer. You can do that, okay? Not not because uh, moon represents interior design, but you have very good imagination. You know, it is like the imagination of Venus. Okay, so in that context, both are similar. So therefore, you can actually get a good vibe and a good sense of you know how things will appear if this color is here, that uh, furniture is there, you know. So you will know it better, okay? With, with anything and everything, basically. So if moon is in a particular place, you will be very creative. Like for example, you know, if 
moon is in the fifth house or even let's take you know like the tenth house for example you know you'll be extremely creative when it comes to your career you know like you will make very nice presentations you will do things in a very artistic way your speaking skills will be excellent okay during uh, your profession and you will be loved by people there okay so you you can see that so many examples i can give you know with moon in the 10th house you know let me see if you can name a famous personality from india <laughs> with moon in the 10 all right in the sign of cancer let me see who can write it all right number 9 there is travel and movement in regards to that house now what is travel and movement travel and movement means there is some kind of displacement you know, so, for example, if Moon uh, is in your sixth house, you might have a lot of displacement in your job. Okay, today, today you are here, then you may be transferred, and uh, you might have to move quite frequently. That is possible. Okay, so that also means if Moon is well placed, uh, then uh, you will be able to deal with the fluctuations easily, as I said before. But if very badly placed, then, you know, you will feel very frustrated and, you know, you'll be like, ah, oh, what is this? I always have to keep traveling. So, Wherever moon is, you need to make peace with it, okay? Uh, it, it's like uh, you cannot grudge over that house because if you do that, you will be destroyed. So therefore, try and settle down wherever in the area where moon is sitting in your chart, okay? Of course, it's not easy. It's easier said than done, but you have to settle. Otherwise, it will cause disruptions in your life, okay? Last but not the least, moon also deals with, you know, sleep and rest. Because rejuvenation, this is, you know, again, related to the moon, right? Immune system, health, all this, okay? So, one of the essential elements of rejuvenation is, you know, sleep. So, you know, if moon is well placed, then your sleep can be good. And if moon is well supported, your sleep can also be good. But if moon is badly placed, uh, yeah your sleep schedules might be off. You may sleep at 2, 3 or 1 in the night and you may get up at, you know, 8, 9, 10. So, this is very bad, okay? So, therefore, if moon is badly placed for you, it's difficult for you to sleep in the night. You, know, you will, it is possible you may be on like a night owl, okay? Or especially if moon is not just debilitated or afflicted, uh, but if it is, you know, like, yeah, conjunct natural malefics, you know, just uh, apart from aspects. So, if the conjunction is there, or you have like Kendrum Yoga, which means there are no planets on the either side of the moon, then there could be difficulties with your sleep. But you have to take care and, you know, focus on your sleep. Uh, you have to, so if you have a bad moon, you have to put more energy and more focus and you have to give more attention to that area. Only then it will work. Otherwise, uh, it will just... Uh, it will just fade into oblivion, okay? So, therefore, the moon is the most important planet. The moon represents the mind. The moon also represents bhakti, you know, love, emotions, and devotion to God, everything. And that is why Jupiter gets exalted in the sign of cancer, which is ruled by the moon, all right? So, therefore, wherever moon is, that's an amazing house. Take care of it. Uh, nurture that house. People related to that house. Be creative. Have your imagination. Have intuition. Uh, experiment with that and you will be very happy in life. All right. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And for personalized consultations, you will find my website down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Take care. Jai Sri Krishna.